Uh, welcome, welcome to Joe Baines' um, Passions podcast. So Joe Baines is this this idiot over here podcast, and then uh, we've got Black White, which is uh, Pete. Pete over here, miserable bastard. I'm the white guy. Yeah, uh, he's the white guy. I'm the racist. And then we got Phil. I'm the pigeon. Phil is the pigeon. So uh, tell me about yourselves. So how did your show go to, today, Phil? Fucking disaster. No, it was pretty good. Was I, good I quite enjoyed it. I it was good. It. Yeah, it went well. Yeah, they've all gone well. So I've done four now, and they've all been really good. And uh, yeah, just it was good. Just to show that this the audience was slightly more quiet than uh, some of the other. But ones. they were enjoying it. They were enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, we got rid of the riffraff early yeah. on. Yeah, we, we, we threw out the Russian spies in the yeah. first five minutes. So after we got rid of the Russians, it was a lot better. When you the way you took the piss out of the when you got rid of the um, those four people. Yeah. Um, that let the audience relax. Yeah, Did I could it? feel it. I yeah, could yeah, feel them relax. Yeah. 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 So, same thing happened at our night, our show the other night when, mm. when, we, when we threw them out. Yeah, we had to throw some people out. It as got well. a lot better when they yeah. left, but they then left you, quite late. Then you came round trying to deliver the parcel, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was pretty good. good. At, very good at delivering. Yeah, yeah. delivery. I need to think of what, what deliver think? He works for who? delivery. Deliver, deliver who? who? Deliver. Deliver who? What could be in the parcel? We need to think of something really um, funny. Because that's going to keep Novi job. No job. job. It's a bit obvious, though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's obvious. Yeah. Platinum. Um, evening Standard? I thought maybe Velcro. Evening or Standard. The, the, oh, latest, da- the Daily latest Express. News Daily from Express. London. Oh. The latest news from London. Yeah, Daily Express. Daily Express. Or Daily Mirror, or whatever it is. Don't make me buy Daily Express. George Osborne body parts. So, so Phil, tell me, um, no, tell not. me about what got you into stand-up. Oh uh, well, I think it was a bit of an accident, really. Disastrous accident, tragic accident. Well, Still trying to recover from it tragic, all these years tragic later. Tragic for the audiences, yeah. Tragic yeah. for the audience, yeah. <laughs> tragic for Edinburgh. I've managed to, you know, I've managed to shake it off for about 15 years, and I've eventually got sucked back into the Edinburgh vortex. Okay. Yeah. And what? What's uh, you were you were on uh, TV, weren't you? What were you on Brian TV? Watched. Well, that's a bit of old material there from Pete. <laughs> very old, very old, very old. <laughs> were you? Which TV program were you on? Was it? Uh, um, yeah. What happened? Well, Newsnight. what happened was um, I was talent spotted by the BBC um, for uh, this skill I've got for stare, uh, I'm standing very still and stiff, staring straight ahead without speaking or moving. Hey, sorry about a bus stop. Yeah, uh, and then um, so I did the buzzcocks and um, never mind the bus stop. Never mind the bu- never mind the bus stop. And then it's funny you say that because I, I was asked to do a, na- a national bus stop tour oh, yeah. uh, to follow up the the buzzcocks uh, success. Um, and uh, yeah, I, um, I was booked in for I think Preston and um, um, Derby and um, uh, Doncaster and places like that. But unfortunately, I couldn't couldn't make it, so I had to do the ironing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's quite disappointing, really, for my family. Yeah. Hard to tell. It is very hard to tell. All right. So, yeah. and what uh, um, and what do you enjoy about stand up? Very most? little, really. Very little. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the performance, right? Yeah. Yes. I think you enjoy the um, enjoy the flyering, don't you? You enjoy the flyering. Yeah, I love flyering. Yeah. yeah. Especially, oh, that's a bit I didn't do today. Um, I was meant I meant to do that uh, the, the flyering thing where you you, uh, you you give someone a, a flyer, they're all enthusiastic, you know, and you say, comedy, comedy. Uh, do you fancy a bit of a laugh today? And they go like that because you and you know that this person hasn't had a fucking laugh for about forty three years, right? Uh, and it's not going to. They're probably married. It's not going to start now. Mm. Yeah, they're married. Definitely married. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just um, rigor mortis set in a long time ago, and um, that's it, really. And then, how do you cheer them up? Uh, well, just you know, so you know, an arsehole. Just tell We're them looking about. for more arseholes to come to the show, so I think you'd be fine. I'd just tell them, I think they'd be they'd fit in nicely. Yeah, yeah. inspires them inspires them to to take their game to the next level absolutely yeah well, i yeah. think i've lifted a few people off the suicide level yeah. well that's good so you could work for the samaritans you probably Definitely. are yeah yeah mm. you ask them if they can fly, fly a plane or anything like that um yeah um for the new 911 you mean yeah they're looking for new pilots yes, yeah yeah they're always yeah. looking for new pilots oh that's something i did today the 911 i haven't it's the first time i've done it that was really good i don't think i've seen you do that before and you, the way you just like word for word it was very accurate. Mm. 
description of what really happened. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Definitely, yeah. definitely what happened. The bit that I, I wanted to add on, which I didn't quite manage to do it today, is uh, uh, the Building 7 bit, but I'll probably add that on tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if that's, that's well known, is it, or relevant? That, that's why it has to go, though, because nobody, yeah. this is the whole point, nobody, nobody knows, knows nobody, nobody knows that a 47-storey building, Building 7, went, that that's the third tower that went down, right? It didn't get hit by planes, no. It just went straight down, um, 9.3 seconds of free fall, all the way down to the ground, what caused it? Office fires. Office fires. That's right. Yeah. Oh, somebody was telling me the other day that um, I've got to do that tomorrow. On, on the day the twin towers went down, ninety percent of the people weren't in the building, so only about two thousand people died. And well, I don't know if it's that many, but I heard it was two thousand people didn't turn up. But the, what it was that uh, Israeli workers, right? Is that what you heard? Yeah. It was well, Israeli workers. It's, it's, it's Israeli, Israelis Israeli, Israeli, knew. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's, there's, look, there's so many holes in the, in the, in the official yeah. story. It's, 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 everywhere you look, it's oh, completely, it? it's completely fucking pinholed with, with, it's pockmarked. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah, no. yeah. It's been hung, drawn and quartered. It's been chopped up. It's oh, has it? It's been casseroled. Uh, oh, right. It's been casseroled. It's, it's um, been microwaved. It's a, and, and what makes incinerated. you... What makes you laugh, by the way, Phil? Um, faulty towers. Yeah, mm. me as well. Yeah, faulty Lovely towers. Yeah, faulty towers. Um, yeah, the, where, 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 um, where um, nine towers. You know where, where he does twin, the twin uh, towers. Twin towers. Yeah, twin towers. That's always the laugh, isn't it? <laughs> Triplet two hours. Triplet two hours. Two hours. Seven, towers. Seven towers. What about Monty Python? Does all that oh. do it for you? The, the funny bits of it make me laugh. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. All right. I find I, I've seen Monty Python pro every single one of them at least ten times, and I still find it just as funny as it was in the first time I saw it. Yeah, it's got this thing about it that mm. even though I know exactly what's going to happen, it's still funny. Yeah, um, still surprises you, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, God, who would have thought they'd done the same thing again? Thought they'd vary it, you know? And it comes, it's just the same as it was last. Exactly. Time. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what um, it's a film alternative endings, shouldn't they? Really? What 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 do you find that uh, what have you learned in your life? Not very little, really. What have you learned that you would want to pass on to somebody else? What fundamental things have you learned about life itself? Um. Well, I mean, be careful when you're walking under bridges. Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> I knew he was going to say something like that. I could feel it. I could yeah. feel that was coming through. Yeah. Always uh, look on the bright side of life. Yeah. And, yeah. and how do yeah. you do that? Um, sing a song by the Killers. That's the way to look on the bright Mr. side of life. M Mr. 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 Brightside. Mr. Brightside. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Go to um, a karaoke night in, in the East End of London. Yeah. And uh, sing a killer song. I think you and have to. And it's got to be the East End of London, right? <coughs> it has to be. Yeah. yeah. I think that's where real people some... live. That's where I live. That's where uh, I'm real. He's not real. 3D. I'm 3D. I've got to leave in a minute, by the way. You'll have All to. Right. You'll have to replace me with a real being deported. <laughs> being deported again. Yeah, I've got. To, yeah. It's, it's, it's been deported to uh, in Edinburgh. I've got like people to see in a way, you know. East London, back to East London. But deal's going down. So, so, Danny you have, the so, so Phil hasn't learned anything. Is that what you're telling me, Phil? I mean, you know, look at him. Mm. I've learned very little, really. Channel, channel, There's got to be something you've learned. I've learned that education's a waste of time. Of course. But what what have you learned that you could pass on to some um, next generation? Square root of 439. I didn't know that, but I've forgotten it. So it's not very helpful, really, is it? It's not going to help. Anybody out there really is it? Mm. I mean, you could also go to karaoke oh, I'll, I'll tell in you what. Uh, No, I'll tell you what. No, now you mention it, I have learned something. Yeah, the secret of the universe. I, I know that. Is that any useful? Just how the how the universe works and how you can plug into the universe. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm, I'm listening. We're all um, ears, right? We're all ears. Talk for yourself. Uh, um, what is it? What is the secret of the universe? Secret of the universe. Um, this is it. First time you're hearing it on here. The secret of the universe. Oh, no, the, the tape's cut out at 10 minutes. Bang on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still here? Okay. <laughs> it's finished. It's over. Secret of the universe. Come on. What's the secret of the no, universe? The, 
<laughs> I've been frozen. Look. <laughs> The Novi chop. It's the Novi chop. It freezes after 10 minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It, it, it's just kicking in. Laughing in their effect. So, how come it's only working on me and not you? Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> I think I took it a minute after you. So you yeah. did? I wanted to see if it made any difference to your hair. Oh, yeah. Hair. That, that, that bit's still the same way it was when um, Simon Amster played with it and never yeah, mind the bus. Yeah, you kept it. I haven't, a, I haven't washed that. Well, bit. you kept it in a yeah. glass uh, case. Yeah. For, uh, it's you know. in the British Museum as well, yeah, a yeah. copy of it. Of course it is, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, so, the this, secret. This is going oh, well, the secret. Yeah. 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 Um, um, Yoruba Ringo Kyo. Ah, Buddhist. The what? Oh, I see. Okay. And, and 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 how does that translate to English? It doesn't. It doesn't? No. Okay. So how do people learn it? I just say it. He's got it here, haven't he? I, I used to have it. I used to carry it. Phil gave me one. Yeah. Someone else gave me one. I've had so much stuff in my wallet, I've, I've not got it. Oh, you found one on the street? I found one on the street, yeah. And you know, Obviously, I knew what it was because of the feel, you know. This is going well. I'll find it. Yeah, this is going well. Listen, I've got to go, it's, guys. It's comedy right. gold. It's yeah. comedy gold. Do. This right. is to do. Of course. Of course. Uh, what do you think of time? my um, material about bags? It's, it's, imagine good. if bags weren't, hadn't been invented. Yeah. You know, I've got a bag. Really imagine if, I, if the bags hadn't been invented. How would you carry things around? Bits? Yeah. Bag for last. Yeah, it makes a hell of a difference having a bag. Other bags are available. Coffee. Coffee. You go Coffee. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. It's right? inspiring, right? Yeah, it's very inspiring. So yeah. what was this combi R thing, you know, with the um, um, with the Buddhist thing? Is that a combi R? Uh, a I'm, comedy thing. No, no, the, the combi R thing you've just mentioned there about what you've learned. The mantra. The mantra, yeah. The, the mantra. mantra. Well, it's... Uh, what, what, do, you, what, do you want a red one or a green one? Uh, is there two? I recommend the green one. The All right. Purple. Why? Why, green, why? Why the green one? Because it's it's got a ni it's a nice earthy colour, isn't it? It's a nice. I mean, that's this is a, a bit, green one. That's a bit Netanyahu, isn't it? It's one. what? A bit Netanyahu. That one. I don't know what that means. Red, isn't it? Oh, red. Okay. Colour and so, color. what? How, you read one or, or the other? How does that work? No, just you can read them both, but well, they're both the same. But it depends which one you you, you prefer. I like that one because so I like. So they've got the purple. same writing at the back. Yeah, it's all the same, apart from different colours. Depends oh. what your favourite colour is, you see. Um, I, I prefer that. I prefer the green and the purple. But, yeah, but it doesn't, ultimately, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's still the same mantra. Yeah, but where's the, the mantra then? I don't see the mantra on it's there. It's on the front. That's oh, that's it. the mantra. Yeah, that's, oh, um, that's actually the essence of the Lotus Sutra. So, so that's a Nam Mayo Renge Koyo. Mm, close. Um, Nam Yoho. Yoho, yeah, Renge, Renge, Kyo, Kyo, Nam, Yoho, Renge, Kyo. That's it. Nam, Yoho, Yoho, Renge, Kyo, Kyo. Indeed. And that's the secret of the universe. So you ask me what I forgot about that. So that I knew the secret of the universe. You know, like you, it's easy to forget, isn't it? You know the secret of the universe. Um, but I just remembered I knew the secret of the universe. So that's it. So that. Yeah. So how does what does that tell you? Um, it tells you that you are a Buddha and everyone, you're a Buddha and I'm a Buddha. I know I'm, I'm God. Yeah, you're yeah. God and, yeah. and, and so am I. So my God's bigger than your God. Oh, yeah, so let's have a war. Let's have a war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, what, is, it, is this yeah. like uh, Pikachu or something, you know, where the, the two gods fight each other? Yeah. So what we need to do is wipe out the planet. That's what, that's, that's what we need to do, isn't it? That seems to be the general plan. Yeah. But so we got another idea. We thought, why don't we have peace and uh, not wipe out the planet? So this is what this is about. Um, um, my god's Thor. Thor. Yeah. Um, you know the god of thunder? Um, well, we don't have a god. I think that's good because if you've got a god, you've got this idea that something up there bigger than you. Uh, of course, it's a bit of a problem. Then you get the priests involved, and they, you've got to go through them as an intermediary. Bit of a problem, that. So what we did with this, you just chant and bring it out of your life and, and, and emanate that vibration from within in, into the universe, and then it flows back from the universe into you. So it's like tuning into an, uh, um, a, a vibration of wisdom, courage, compassion, creativity, and life force. What's not to like? There you go. So, so do you have your favourite Pikachu? What's a Pikachu? You know, like mine is Thor, mm -hmm. because I like his hammer. Oh, okay. And, uh, and he's got those wings on his head, you know, that helmet. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Um, have you seen my Viking video? 
No. Yeah, I've got a video on the internet. It's called, um, um, I used to be a Buddhist, but now I'm a Viking. Um, and uh, the horns are a bit the wrong way around, slightly fucked up. Um, but uh, is, yeah. there, is, there, is there wings on it? Because that's the important bit. Because um, well, know, Thor has those wing things yeah. on, the, on the hat. Well, actually, speaking of wings, I've got a pigeon costume. Um, and that's got wings. Yeah. And, and um, I haven't bought, I need to bring it down and put it in the storeroom. So I might, I might come on stage with the pigeon costume at the start. Yeah. And that um, would, uh, then you could do the pigeon thing, thing fight and scene. And the Mick Jagger. Mick and the Jagger, Mick Jagger, yeah. With the pigeon thing on. And then take right, it off with, yeah, with the vest true. underneath. With yeah. all the vest to um, yeah. establish the vest. Um, I think that could work. Yeah, that could work. And what? And what do you love in life? What's What's your loves of life? Um, um, basically, um, you know, generally non-pigeon stuff. stuff. Non, okay. non things that don't involve pigeons because right. um, it's a bit dangerous walking under bridges because you can slip slip on pigeon droppings and it can be quite and, dangerous. And the bridges, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of it under bridges. Okay, all right. Yeah. So so we've established you don't you like things that are non pigeon based. What yeah. else do you love about the world, the universe, whatever? Generally non pigeon stuff. Just non pigeon stuff, anything, right? Yeah. So you like um, coffee because it's non pigeon. Non pigeon, that's right. Uh, seagulls, I like seagulls. You like seagulls. They're in the show. I mentioned them in the show. It's yeah, seagull. I'm studying seagull language because it's very, uh, very uh, expressive. Whereas pigeons is a bit. Um, is it? Is it a bit, bit monotonous? It, it's a bit repetitive. The pigeon stuff. Oh, I, I've not paid yeah. that much attention. Uh, do do yeah. you like? Um, do you like movies because they're non pigeon based? Yes, there's not a lot of pigeon movies. Yeah, so. there isn't. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. I think I've only seen a couple of movies with pigeons in well, it. I haven't been in any pigeon movies myself, apart Haven't from you? ones I've made. Yeah, which is why you hate pigeons, is it? Because you've made movies with pigeons. That's right. Yes. Is this the rule that you don't uh, work with animals uh, or children or um, mm. or pigeons? Well, I'm in the new Tim Burton film, so I, I kind of ended up working with elephants. Is elephants is, is working with elephants better than pigeons? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because they don't shit on you. Yeah, is that the main thing? Well, the, the best thing about this movie was that, um, that, that, that they're not real elephants, so there's no real oh. elephant, elephant shit involved. Oh, so how how does it work? Uh, what, what if you had um, non-real pigeons? Is that is that acceptable? Can you work with uh, yeah. pigeons that? Look like pigeons, but are are actually humans. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. And um, what else? What else do you want to tell us about your life? Um, well, I think that, that that's summed it up really. Um, What's I've, the? I think I've delivered all the all the wisdom. Yeah. And wisdom. It's all that I've accumulated. It's all in this. In in, in there. Um, in four words. In four words. In four words. So what? Uh, so what are the ups and downs of your life then? Um, well, just a bit of in and out, really. A bit of in, a bit of the outs. Um, been up a few hills, um, come down again. Is, were you talking about Arthur Seat going up and down Arthur Seat? Yeah, oh, yeah, I nearly slipped off Arthur Seat and then, then died. Yeah. Um, Have you? Yeah. Oh, well, you don't want to do what that. What happens is the. Um, the, the earth crumbles beneath your feet, and if you're wearing those flat soles, you go straight down to the bottom. So I grabbed a tree, a tree on the way down, and uh, hung around. And you don't want to do that, right? I probably won't do this again. Probably something I would not do again. But um, it was quite interesting. It was like sheer drop, you know. So, At Arthur's you know. Seat. Yeah, Arthur's Seat. Yeah. I, said, I didn't know that was sheer drop. Yeah, other people were running up in their boots, and I was sliding down in my flat shoes. So possibly I'm going probably in the wrong direction here. Um, yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to tell our three viewers um, about your life, the universe? Well, three viewers, it's more than I usually get. Like the he had a full house. He had a full house today. What's he yeah. talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but six of them are Russian spies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, But we did kick them out, you know. We did. Yeah, we did. so yeah. that camera, by the way, is heavy. Uh, 
it was. Yeah, I could see you straining. By I the was, end I was, was, yeah. Yeah, you know, like that. Um, yeah, I was like trying to hold it there you've, and then you've there. Got, you've now got repetitive straining. Probably, yes. Yeah, so I will sue yeah. you. Yeah, I'd have yeah. to sue you for that. that yeah. that, if you could, that would be great. Yeah, because yeah, mm. we could uh, make some money out of this from uh, the insurance company. Yeah, I've already got someone threatening to sue me, so I'm going for a nice collection. Yeah, yeah, just of, like um, the tobacco industry, cases right? In, in one week. Yeah, just like the tobacco industry. Yeah. Just pile them up together, and then we can sue them all yeah, at the same nice time. Nice bit of asbestos as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, down, yeah. Right? and then the pharmaceutical industry. We can sue them in one go as well. Oh, we're we we become famous. Look, we're the big, there's a Phil, picture. Phil Zimmerman, <laughs> CNN. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We are, we've just been uh, we've just become famous. We have. Um, yeah. Now we've got four viewers, four viewers instead of three. Uh, we've uh, we've viewers, added yes. another one um, to yeah. the uh, to the list. Yeah. I'm hoping by the end of the century, we could be up to double figures here. There's absolute no doubt about that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Then, then you're famous, you know. Yeah. Um, he's very famous, by the way. He's very famous. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually his tea boy. Uh, I'm, is that? Yeah, he is. He's really uh, famous.